the glue fillet, which is just a bead of glue by each wing with a piece of uh, toothpick has been dried overnight. So we'll, we'll just add more glue to increase the size of that fillet. I like to put on several coats so that you fill in, fill in the crevices. You can use your finger if you want to help push it, push the glue down. Or you can use the tip of a toothpick to help um, get, the, get the glue in. Okay, so I've got glue on each one of these. If I set it, the glue will run. So what I'll do is I'm going to hold it and just rotate it in my hand um, absentmindedly as I walk around and do whatever I'm, I do while the glue sets. Uh, and then we'll be ready for the next next uh, coat. And then I guess the other thing I want to do right now is attach the launch lug. So the launch lug will go on with a little bit more glue. And I'll put a little bit more glue on afterwards to make sure that the launch lug is securely in place. Want to get the launch lug lined up so it's on the same axis as the, as the body tube. Okay, time to put some more glue on. I like to add glue until those until it's pretty much these creases are filled in. You can use your finger to help push it in. Try and get some up near the top. A little wet finger. Hold it and rotate it while the glow sets up. The directions call to use plastic cement, but instead of plastic cement to do the nose cone, which that's what we're going to do now, I'm going to use some uh, Gorilla Glue. Gotta watch out with your Gorilla Glue. Uh, it cures with the moisture in the air and it will foam up quite a bit. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a piece of sandpaper. I'm going to rough up the edge of this. Uh, the edge of the nose cone, the part that goes inside of the tube. The nose cone also acts as an engine stop in this rocket. So I want the glue to have a nice bearing surface here so it's, it's getting all roughed up. And then a little moisture. I'm just going to use some wet finger here. A little bead on the inside of the tube. That'll be enough. And now I'm going to twist the cone as I gently push it in place. I'm going to try and let that dry upside down so the glue will run down into the nose cone. And uh, we'll probably get some foam build up, but I'm not. I'm not really concerned about that. This, the, the glue, you know, unlike wood glue where you have a bead and it just solidifies, this will foam and uh, fill out. So, I like the glue. Use it quite a bit. Just got to be aware that it will foam up. And this is the white, not the regular. I've never used the regular, but I guess it foams up brown. So, this is uh, the nose cone now that it's dried. You can see the foam from the Gorilla Glue on the inside. And basically, we've got an assembled, ready to shoot rocket. I'm going to go ahead and put some more glue on these fins. I'll put on some, uh, some homemade uh, sealer to, to fill up the, uh, the grain in these fins. It's time to fill the grain on these fins. Now, this isn't my trick. I, I don't remember if I saw it in another YouTube video or read about it, but basically you get Elmer's wood filler. It's a water-based uh, wood filler. And you just put a little dollop in uh, something, just a little container. This is a cap, you know, semi-disposable container. Mix it up with the water. It'll be a paint-like consistency. And I just have a regular old hobby brush here uh, and you paint it paint it on 
to the, each fin. Paint this on the wood. Sand it, paint it, sand it. Once it dries, that is, sand it. And then this will act as a nice sealer. You can also apply it to the body tube to fill in the lines uh, that are in the body tube if you don't like those standing out in your... Okay, our last coat of our Elmer's Wood Filler Based Sanding Sealer is ready, it is, or is dry. So, after each coat, sand each wing. This is a good time to add a little bit of a bevel to the wing if you want. So I just have some Zenzer 123 primer. And I'll give this a quick coat of primer. Okay, our primer is dry. The next step is kind of semi-optional. Uh, just a coat of white before we lay down our brighter colors. Semi-optional because you don't need it, but it, it really helps. I like to paint some rockets fluorescent colors, fluorescent orange, you know, so I can get them back easier. And uh, and you would be surprised how much brighter that orange is with a coat of white as opposed to no base coast. We'll let this dry and then we'll start in on the yellow. I'm going to paint the uh, paint the rocket with the factory paint scheme, so I'm going to go yellow. In general, you want to start with your lighter colors and then move to your darker colors. So I've got white here as a base, optional base. I like I like the base with primer underneath it. And now I've got yellow, and then we'll paint the nose cones black, nose cone black. But that'll be the last step. So you want because you want to go from light to dark. The yellow paint is dry. I let it dry overnight because the next step is to paint the nose cone black. And we want it dry because we're going to use some blue painter's tape. And we're also going to use just a standard shopping bag, plastic shopping bag. So push the rocket into the shopping bag and then gently push the nose cone up through the bag and then clear. You want it clear of the nose cone. Then we're going to just take a strip of paint, or painter's tape, and this is the delicate part. You want to outline. There we go. We're going to outline that nose cone with the painter's tape. Now you can peel it off immediately. Or you can let it dry a little bit and peel it off. I'm going to peel it off immediately because I don't want the, the tape to really bond to the yellow paint that's underneath. The last step is optional, so yet another optional step here for painting, but it's a clear coat of lacquer. And it just glosses what I like, goes on over everything else. Final step is stickers. I was reading the directions. They said peel and stick. Well, I can definitely peel and stick. I said look at the package to figure out what you're supposed to do and, and then peel and stick. <laughs>